Hello, my name is Westbam and welcome to another very exciting and banging VVV tutorial. Today I want to talk about something very VVV specific and that is I want to talk about bangs. To understand what a bang is, there are some other things you want to know about VVV first and that is frames. Because VVV is real time and very graphical, it runs in a certain amount of frames per second or frame rate. If you make a timing timing debug, you can see how fast VVV is running for you. We are interested in the frames per second and that's the first pin over here. You might see that this value is jumping and changing all the time. So a quick and dirty way to fix that is to connect a damper now to it to smooth out the, the changing. And we also lower the filter time a bit because uh, then we get a better average of our frames per second. Okay, as you see, I'm running VVV with more or less 60 frames per second. This number means that 60 times per second, my entire patch gets recalculated. It will uh, calculate the next value for the LFO node, for example. Or if you make a random node, it will give me 60 random values each second. And so forth and so on. Your frames per second will depend on a few things. For example, how complicated your patch is, how many nodes did you use, how big your spreads are, how many slices they have, what external devices you are using, like a, a webcam or whatever, and also, of course, the power of your computer. You can a big, fast computer runs a bit faster. Those very cheap netbooks, uh, they both run, but the big one runs faster. Improving your frames per second is a whole tutorial in itself. So I'm not going to handle that subject now. There are two things, however, you can always check out. One of them is the, the main loop node. And if you press F1, you can see the help patch. And the other method is entering the debug mode. If I press my middle mouse button, you see here debug on off. That's control F9. And these random numbers you see jumping up and down here are a bit um, what the node is using for power. And if I make a renderer, for example, you will see that it's got a very high value, meaning a lot of renderers in your patch might end up with a lower frame rate, but it isn't really significant. To understand more about these numbers, I suggest you go to the forum, because there is a bit of documentation on the subject. To escape from the debug mode, you just press Ctrl F9 and let's continue. Okay, let me quickly show you the drawbacks of having frame rates in VVV. I am going to build the most basic drawing patch you can imagine. I'm going to need a mouse and that mouse is system window. I'm going to need a transform, transform 2D. I'm going to need a quad. And I need a renderer, of course. I select renderer and hit Alt 2, so it's docked. I move it down here, scale it up a bit. Yeah, you know the drill, I've done it before. And I connect the quad to the transform. Quad is going to move with my mouse, so the X is going to move with the X. The Y is going to move with the Y. I double right click and I make an IO box value advanced and I connect it to the scale X and the scale Y. And if I now middle mouse click here, it gives me a name. I scale up the quad a bit and, and as you can see my quad is following my mouse. Okay, when I press the left mouse button, I am going to enable the quad. And if I press the right mouse button, I'm going to enable the clear pin. And if I now hover above my renderer and I click my left mouse button, I can start drawing something. And if I hit my right mouse button, I can erase the renderer. So now I can just draw stuff in here. It's pretty cool. But if I move my mouse really fast, you can see here, I got gaps. So let me right click again. I'm going to move my mouse very fast over the renderer. And instead of getting a straight line, I'm getting all these individual quads. And these quads were drawn uh, exactly on a VVV frame. So in between two frames, I move my mouse this distance. 
So every quad you see here represents a VVV frame. Some nodes will ignore VVV frames, like the RS232 node, it's for uh, communicating with the serial port, or your keyboard nodes, they will collect key presses. So these nodes have built in buffers and should not be affected by any low VVV frame rates. So now you know a bit more about VVV frames and frame rates. And I hear you wonder what does it got to do with bangs. Well, a bang is nothing more than a value of 1 during one VVV frame. So let's create an IO box bang. I double right click and I select bang. The IO box bang by default is always 0. But when I right click on it, I will get a 1 for 1 frame. And since my video is only recording at about 25 frames per second, you might not even see it in my recording, but you really get a 1 for 1 VVV frame. So here we have a bang. False or 0 by default, and when it's triggered, it's 1 or positive for 1 VVV frame. An IO box bang can be recognized by the round corners. If I double right click and make an IO box toggle, you see a toggle is a square, whilst a bang is more like a round rect. Banks are very much used in VVV. They can either say that an event is ready or finished, or they can start something. The LFO node, for example, LFO animation, will give me a bang every time uh, a cycle is ready. The S plus H, or sample and hold, animation in this case, will hold a value on a bang. So this is my value, this is my bang, and when I bang here, the output will freeze the time. So the S plus H node can be used to freeze time. Or we have a mono flop. When the mono flop is triggered, it will output a 1, and in this case for a period of 1 second. So if I right click here, the mono flop is 1 for 1 second. When you're working with large patches, or you use modules or sub patches, it is very common that all they do is output a bang when they are ready. They wait for a certain condition, like a MIDI trigger, a keyboard press, a hit detection, or a certain slice count. And then they only output a bang. The two most used nodes to produce bangs are the change, change animation, and the tog edge, tog edge animation. And these two nodes are the subject for my next tutorial. Mastering your bangs is very important in VVV. And now you know what they are, it's time I'm going to show you how to use them. My name is Wes Bam, thanks again for watching and I see you all next time.